Hey, what's up guys? It's Isabel again, and I'm here just to talk about my opinion on something that I came across when I was doing research um, into, into different revenues to start out. But first things first, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that left me a comment on my last video, uh, just giving me your guys' suggestions on different different avenues that are out there to start out with. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, I did read everybody's comments and um, I've, I've been doing my research onto all of the suggestions you guys have had. Uh, also, for the people that have said Doomtown is coming back, I will definitely be helping out with that Kickstarter in July and uh, picking up a box. I don't have Doomtown Reloaded anymore. I gave it to an old friend just because I didn't enjoy it as much as the old decks. Um, but I'm still, you know, I'm still friends with that person and um, we still live in the same city. So, um, but yeah, so uh, back to back to this video. Um, yes, yeah, so I was doing research into every, what, you know, everyone's suggestions. And one of the things that caught my eye was pre-release. And it wasn't really the concept of pre-release. It was more, a lot of the shops in my city, they have been, uh, it's, it's like a $5 sit-in fee to go to a pre-release and I think that's just kind of stupid um, just for you know for a couple reasons it's I think that for pre-release night it, it's it's kind of futile to have that cover charge because pre-release seems like a great place to go to not only just watch um, a lot of you guys go through different games and kind of see if anything has changed in the game that I'm not aware of um, since I've you know since my absence or uh, it's also a great place to just kind of talk to you guys, like to be able to have face-to-face -face conversations um, about the current deck that I'm building, kind of get some feedback, kind of spitball ideas, uh, you know, like for example, something that would come up in casual conversation, like, oh yeah, that card is so stupid, I was gonna, you know, I was flipping through all of my cards and I can't believe I still have it, it's such a stupid card. And uh, maybe you guys would be like, that card is stupid, but this card that just got released, like, you know, a month ago or whatever, is... Um, it's great. It's really good when it's paired with each other, and that's something like I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that right offhand. Starting back into this, uh, you know, unless of course I do my research on it, but kind of have to take the baby steps to kind of figure out where can I start, you know, playing, and then you know you you look into more strategies into your into your decks and stuff. But stuff like that, like that's you know that's a good example of why it's awesome to go to these kind of release nights and or pre-release nights and go to these. Um, these nights where, every, where there's a lot of people in the magic community there to to play and to talk with, and um, I think if you know, if you, especially if you're not going to play, that's a really silly thing to have a cover charge for. Like I understand if the card shop is trying to. There's two reasons why I think that a cover charge um, would would happen. One would be for if they're just trying to create some. They're kind of trying to capitalize on the revenue. You know, maybe they're not selling as much as they want, so they need to make money for rent. I get it. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody came to the door, so I had to deal with that. But, yeah, so the first reason would obviously be the revenue, and then the second one would be if they're just trying to kind of filter out the elite players from the non-elite. Like, if they're trying to filter out for the people that are seasoned, the people that, um, you know, have been playing this for years. Because if I have been, like, if I was playing Magic for years upon years, like, I get it, I would want to play somebody with my same skill set. I want to play with somebody that would cause, like, you know, give me a challenge. So if they're, tr if they're putting that type of a fee just to kind of filter out, um, you know, filter out the the casual players from the non-casual players i get it but i think that they should just have like an elite night like have an elite night still have your cover charge so you can make some money and you can kind of you know get just those seasoned players um for each other and then have like a free night like have i feel like pre-release should be a free night uh, especially with the hours and um it should be something that you know it's welcome to newcomers it's welcome to people that are just curious about the game it's welcome to like people's friends and significant others like things like that like it, it I don't think that if you're not especially if you're not going to play like why why <laughs> I'll just watch people playing on YouTube or you know watch you guys on like read about it on Reddit or something um I think it's just yeah it's kind of just futile so um that's pretty much like all I have to say on that um 
So leave me leave me your guys' thoughts in the comments. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think pre-release should be a charge? Do you think there should be a charge? Or do you kind of like agree that, yeah, there should be a charge for like the elitist knights? Um, like, you know, knights that is just season players against season players. Because I get it. If I was a season, if I've been doing this for years, if I put a lot of money and time into my deck, then yeah, I'd want to play somebody that gives me a challenge and makes it a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I, I get that, but I think, you know, like, have different nights for that if you want different, you know, if you want that. Um, but yeah, so as always, guys, uh, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, I will link all of our social media platforms just to kind of stay up to date on what we're doing. And um, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.